Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the 2021 World Baseball Association playoffs. Connie Mack League, the wild card series. And we're now uh, introducing game four between Texas and Washington. Washington, in his first game home at T Mobile Park, was able to prevail nine to two in game three. And the highlight of the game, a big three run home run in a bottom of the seventh inning to allow the, the Mariners to pull away from the Rangers. And Tim Lincecum pitching a complete game six hitter with nine strikeouts to collect the win. This has put Washington in a 2-1 series lead and on verge of eliminating the Texas Rangers from playoff contention. And a team that has won 119 games is on the verge here of being eliminated. Seattle's going to send uh, pitcher Stephen Klein to try to finish off Texas. Texas will send 20-game winner Nolan Ryan. Uh, they also made a couple of changes in their lineup that sort of addressed some of their issues here. Gary Temple will make his first shot, first start short um, and first start of the playoffs. And he'll be batting second. Eddie Matthews has moved over to third. Robinson cleaning up. Tris Speakers moved down to fifth. Lance Berkman, sixth. Jerry Grody will be catching Owen Ryan. Much more familiar with him, more apt to call a good game here. No changes necessarily here um, other than to start a decline for Seattle as they look to send uh, Texas packing. Keep in mind, though, Texas did win 119 games out of 162. And they were able to win the first uh, game of the series. Um, I'll be without, uh, not with, not difficulty with Clayton Kershaw waiting, and more likely st uh, getting ready to st uh, with the opportunity maybe him starting uh, for Game Five. But for the moment, it'll be Nolan Ryan versus Stephen Klein, and we're gonna get this game going. Well, the wind is blowing left to right here. As 47 over 47,000 fans are on hand at T Mobile Park to watch these two teams compete and hopefully being able to watch your Washington move over to the second round against the heavily favored Texas Rangers. Joe Morgan leading off, then Gary Templeton, then Eddie Matthews to come in and hit. Morgan had a difficult game last time going over for four, he's two for 12 in the series. And uh, he's looking to sort of make an impact on top of the order. The 2-0 pitch here. The ground ball. Fires it. And he gets him. That's the first out of the inning. Here's Gary Tello making his first appearance. First ball hitting here. He batted 364 with four homers and 18 RBIs. And Klein throws the first to pick up the second out. And he Matthews is a home run three, or he drove in two runs last game with a couple of hits and a double. A 2 2 pitch to him. I struck him out on a slider out of any inning. And Texas, nothing across for them. Bloomquist, Brantley, and Sandberg. Bloomquist had a, another fine game. He had three hits the last game. He's five for 10 in the series. There's a 2 2 pitch to him. Struck him out with a, fat, a 100 mile an hour fastball. No chance on that. A 3 2 pitch from Michael Brantley. There's a ground ball to third. Matthews will fire to first, and he's gone. 14, uh, uh, 19 pitches thrown, two hitters, though. The 2 1 pitch to Ryan Sandberg. There's a ground ball to third. Quick throw by Matthews in a 1-2-3 inning, but he threw over 20 pitches to get it. And after one, no score. Robinson, Speaker, and Berkman, 7-14 for Frank Robinson batting cleanup today. He just hasn't had the big hit. The 0-2 pitch is a drive. It is deep, and this will be caught at the track by Earl Averill, who makes a, a beeline to the ball, makes a spectacular leaping catch to pick up the out. One for seven is Trish Speaker so far in this series. A 2-1 pitch to him. 
There's a ground ball to second. Sandberg will throw to first and collect out number two. Lance Burke with three for 13 in a very soft first game. Been very quiet ever since. The 2 2 pitch by Klein. Struck him out. Big, nice big sinker there on the inside corner for strike three. Abril, Santo, and Oru coming up. A 3 1 to Abril. There's a drive. He rips it at the track, at the wall, and it's off the top of the wall. Abril running second. Makes it to second base with a double. He is on with a leadoff double. Boy, that ball looked like it was going to go out of the ballpark and at the top part of the right center field fence to keep it in. Ron Santo, his first three hits of the series, his first being a solo shot, then an RBI double, then another double. So he had a very solid game yesterday. Here's a high fly ball that is hit deep. Speaker running at the track and he catches it. April tagging from second, heading over to third. One down now with a man third. John Olerud, the one two pitch. There's a line drive and a base hit. Base hit for John Olerud and a one nothing lead. For Washington. Wow, it's unbelievable. one nothing lead here for Washington. In comes Dumit. The 3-2. There's a drive. He rips it the other way. Pushing back is Berkman, but he'll make the catch here for out number two. Conine. The 3-0. He walks him. Here's Stephen Klein. The 1-0. There's a ground ball hit to Templeton. We'll throw it over a second. That all in the inning, but Washington comes up with the first run of the ball game. And it's one nothing Washington to the top of the third. It'll be Cecil Cooper, Jerry Grover, then Nolan Ryan. This is six for 12 for Cecil Cooper. He had been six for eight, but went 0 for four last game. And Cooper looking to turn his winning ways here. He aligns a single to center, his seventh hit of the series. Jerry Grody making his first plate appearance. He's a ground ball to second, 4-6, but not in time at first to pick up the out. They do get the elite runner at second. Why well, I would probably look to bunt the runner over, the 0-2 pitch. Bunts it, gets a good bunt down. He'll be safe. They try to get the runner at second instead of the first, and both runners are safe here. Joe Morgan with two runners out of one out. That's what we've driving some runs here. The 3-1, they're going to walk him. Ball four, the bases are loaded for Gary Templeton. First ball hit for Templeton. Here's a drive. A line drive and a base hit. Base hit for Gary Templeton. And Templeton has tied this game at one. So he took a change up and then just blooped it over Sandberg's head for a single. It is still bases loaded with one out. Eddie Matthews with the bases loaded here. A 1-0. There's a grab ball to third. He's going to go to set for one on a first double play, inning over. A big double play to the inning. But the Rangers were able to tie the ball game up with a Temple to drive it in run. To the bottom of the third now, with the top of the order coming up, Bloomquist, Brantley, and Sandberg coming in the hit. The 0 1 to Bloomquist. There's a bunt. Tries to get on and doesn't do it. He's out. Here's a pitch to Michael Brantley. 3 0 to Brantley, and he walks him. Sandberg, first ball hitting. There's a drive to center. This is playable for Tristan Speaker. He's got it. And there's the first out of the inning. The second out, excuse me. Avo coming in now, who doubled and almost homer last. He's eight for 14 with two home runs and seven RBIs in this series. The 2 0 to Averill. 
There's a drive to center. This will be playable for speaker. This will end the inning. And uh, despite the walk to Brantley, nothing happens. Clyde pitching his fourth inning for Robinson, Speaker, and Berkman. A pitch to Robinson, first ball hitting. Here's a drive. He rips it for extra bases. And Robinson will round first head to second. He is in there with a double. For Speaker. There's a drive. He rips it. That'll be for extra bases. Trish Speaker connects with an RBI triple, and it is two to one Texas. Berkman coming up, the 0 1. Here's a drive the other way, caught, and Berkman does not get the job done. There's a first out. Cecil Cooper single last time up, a 1 0 with their infield in. Here's a line shot. There's a base hit the other way and an RBI single for Cecil Cooper to make it three to one Texas. Jerry Grody. Round ball third, throw second for one on a first double play. And once again, double play at any inning, but this time Texas scores two. And it's a 3-1 ball game going to the bottom of the fourth. Ron Santo, Olerud, and Dumit coming up. A 1-1 pitch here to Santo. Here's a drive to center, but Speaker will be under this. He barely moves and collects the first out of the inning. Olerud, the 1-2 pitch to him. He drove in the first run of the game. This time a fastball right by him. That'll end it. That'll end his uh, at bat. There's out number two. Dumit, a 1 0 pitch to him. There's a fly ball that's in the right field. Robinson running in will make the catch. That'll end the inning. And on to the top of the fifth. With Texas up with a two run lead, Nolan Ryan coming up to hit here. The 1 1 pitch to him. There's a ground ball right to Klein. Klein will throw it to first, get the out for the first out. Morgan 0 for 1. They have 2 2 pitch. There's a ground ball to second. Sandberg will throw the first, and there's a second out of the inning. Temple is one for two and is joining a run today. The one two pitch to Temple then. Struck him out. Nice fastball. That'll end the inning. Texas doesn't score, but they're still up by two. Heading to the bottom of the fifth. Conine, Klein, and Bloomquist to come up. A three two pitch to Conine. There's a line shot base hit the other way. It's not very well hit. As a matter of fact, it was right in on the hands, but he muscled it into right field, and Conine has himself a base hit. Klein's at bat now becomes a productive one. The 0-1, they picked him off, and they pick him off at first base. Conine gets picked off. One to three, and there's a first out of the inning, and there's a very big mistake right there. The 0-2 to Klein now. Struck him out on a 94-mile-hour fastball. And just like that, there's two down. Bloomquist, the 2-2 pitch. Struck him out with a curveball. What a beautiful pitch. That'll end the inning. Um, opportunity to do something here. Turns into catastrophe with Conine's pickoff there. And now no one's a score. To the top of the six, with Matthews, Robinson, and Speaker coming up the hit. The 0-1 to Eddie Matthews. Hit to a double play with base a little last time. Here's a drive the other way. There's a base hit for Matthews. And... Starting to make a more concerted effort to take the ball the other way. If they're going to pitch him away. Might as well take the ball there. A 2-1 to Frank Robinson. There's a fly ball that's hit the right. Conine running in. He's under the ball. Reaches up for the catch for the second out for the first out of the inning. Speaker went for two today. as driven with a triple. And eventually score the 2-2. Here's a drive. High fly ball. High, deep at the track. Back at the wall. It's gone. It is gone. Tris Speaker with the ball carrying it a little bit. Has now made this a 5-1 game.
first home run of the postseason, and he just took one, and he just ripped it out of here. Berkman, the 2-2. Here's a ground ball, the second. Sandberg make plants and throws and gets him out. Next throw there. Cooper's two for two today with an RBI. First ball hitting here. There's a weak pop-up. This will be playable to the shortstop, Bloomquist. That'll end the inning. But another couple of runs for Texas. They have now taken a commanding 5-1 lead. Brantley 0 for 1 today. He has walked. First ball hitting here. There's a drive the other way, but this will be caught the speaker as the ball was slicing right into him for the first outs. Sandberg 0 for 2 today. The 1 2 pitch to him. Struck him out on a fastball inside corner. Wow, that was a beautiful fastball. Nothing to do there. Averill, a 2-1 to him. There's a ground ball to short. Temple will plant. Fire the first inning over. And a 1-2-3 inning here for Texas. They're up 5-1 to one comfortably. Nolan Ryan is throwing 73 pitches now. No, Klein's throwing 73 pitches through 7 and a half through 6. Grody, Ryan, and Morgan to come up. The 0-1 to Grody. There's a fly ball that is at the right center. Conan moving back, he'll make the catch. Here comes Nolan Ryan, the 3 2. Struck him. Oh, ball four. Ball four there. And, and brings, here comes Morgan, the 3 2. He walks in. Back to back walks, first and seconds. One down, Gary Templeton, the 3 1. He walks in. But bases are now loaded for Eddie Matthews, who's one for three today. The three, two. Here's a drive. It is high. It is deep. No doubt about it. It is gone and a grand slam. A grand slam home run for Eddie Matthews. He saw a first pitch fastball high in the zone. He just ripped it. Nine to one, Texas, and they're returning the favor to Washington here. In comes Chad Orvella. And Stephen Klein bomb for six and a third innings. Nine earned runs. Chad Orvella to come in. Um, 51 games this year. There's a line driving a base hit the other way for Frank Robinson. Just an incredible game so far for Texas. And it, it looks like all the moves that they made have, has paid off here. The one went to speaker. There's a ground ball to second for six. Not in time for the double play, but they do pick up the second out. Over three for Berkman. Here's a drive. He rips it. It is deep. It is going and it's gone. Lance Berkman. Takes Orvella deep. He rips his first home run of the series. And this is the kind of output that was expected by Texas. It is now 11 to 1. A 2 1 to Cooper. There's a drive and he rips it. That's going to be off the top of the wall in the third hit of the game for Cecil Cooper. Four games have been played in this series. Three out of the four, Cecil Cooper has had himself a three hit game. For the third time in four games. 
A 3-2 to Jerry Grody. And he walks him. No Ryan. He a one. Here's a drive to left, but this will be caught. That'll end the inning. They score six in the top of the seventh and have taken an unbelievable 11-1 lead here. Santo, Olerud, and Dumit. Nolan Ryan here has pitched brilliantly so far. The one-two pitch to Santo. There's a weak ground ball right to Ryan. We'll throw to first and collect the out. Olerud, the three-two pitch to him. There's a weak ground ball to Ryan again. Fire to first, and there's a second out of the inning. Ryan Dumit, the 2 2 pitch. Ground ball to short. Templeton picks it up, fires to first, and a 1 2 3 inning for Nolan Ryan. This is a one sided ball game. Unbelievable. Two of 14 has been Joe Morgan. He's looking to get himself going here, the 1 0. And he does exactly that when he lashes a line drive base hit the right field for a leadoff single. Templeton, the 3 2 pitch, struck him out. Matthews, two for four with a grand slam today. The 1 2 pitch. Here's a blooper to right field. Morgan will stay at second and a base hit for Matthews. First and second, Rupert Jones to replace Frank Robinson here. A 2-0 to Rupert Jones. Here's a drive. This will be caught by Conine. And there's your second out. Speaker, a 3-1. He walks him. Berkman with the bases loaded, a 2-1. Here's a drive. He rips it deep in the left center. That'll be for extra bases. One run scores. Two runs score. Three runs are going to score. And Berkman empties the bases. A two-run homer in the seventh inning is followed with a three-run double. In the eighth, it is 14-1, to Texas. Cooper's three for four. A 3-2 pitch to him. In comes Brad Arnsberg. Struck him out. Not in the inning. Three more runs come in to score. Billy North will come in and pinch hit. A 1-2. Struck him out. A pitch to Arnsberg. Weak ground ball. The catcher picks it up near the plate. We'll fire the first and get him out. Will it Bloomquist? A 2 2 to him. Struck him out. Two strikeouts in the inning. And quick work is being made here. Wow, just a blitz um, like you wouldn't believe here. The 1 0 to Grody. There's a line shot and a base hit for Grody to lead off the top of the ninth. Nolan Ryan coming in to hit. He's going to try to butt him over. And he gets the job done. Morgan, the 1 2. There's a drive to center. This will be playable for Averill. And there's a second out. Temple has one for four driven a run. A one-two. Struck him out with a cutter. No run scored this time, but the damage has pretty much been done. And uh, going into the top of the, of the um, Bottom of the ninth here. Nolan Ryan still pitching here. Sizemore coming in a pinch hit. Sandberg up next. Maybe he'll get pinch hit too, by the way. The one, two to Grady Sizemore. 
struck him out. Swings in a pitch high, high and away. He's gone. Here's Sandberg. Really struggling here. Round ball, base hit up the middle. Here we go. Earl Averill. Two one. Line drive right at him, but uh, not enough to get a double play here. Two down. Ron Sando to come in here. Ain't two thirds so far. The old one to Santo. There's a ground ball. The first Cooper will pick up the ball. That'll end the inning. And Washington, it's absolutely hammered 14 to 1 as Texas strikes back with a convincing victory. 14 runs on 15 hits, no errors. One run, just four hits and no errors. Nolan Ryan picked up the win. He's now 1 0. Stephen Klein just absolutely blitzed. He's now 0 1 with the loss. Wind was blowing left to right today at eight miles an hour. Nolan Ryan is the, is the winner. He pitches a complete game, nine innings, eight hits, one run, one earned. No, four hits, excuse me. One run, one earned, two walks, eight strikeouts. Collects the win and the complete game. And we will most likely see Clayton Kershaw in game five. Stephen Klein gets tagged with the loss. He got absolutely destroyed. Six and a third, eight hits, nine runs, nine earned. Four walks, three strikeouts, two home runs with the loss. Chad Orvella, an inning and a third, six hits, five earned runs, five earned, two walks, one strikeout, one home run. And Brad Arnsberg. Pitches an inning and a third, gives up a hit, no one runs, and just a couple of strikeouts. Now, if you look at both pitches, you're John Lester and Blake Snell. Snell has picked up the win, so has Lincecum. This series is tied at two. And looking at game five in Globe Park, Gold Life Park in Arlington to figure out who's going to prevail in this series. A chance for Washington to win the series, and they fail to do it. So the final score, 14-1 to Texas. Nolan Rodgers is a complete game win with eight strikeouts. On behalf of the World Baseball Association and the World Baseball Association Television Network, this is John Pepper George. You're wishing you a pleasant afternoon. See you next time when we will see Washington at Texas for game five. Have a nice afternoon and take care.